And it's up, baby. Look, most exciting episode. I'm excited. We talking about week one. Football's back, baby. And shit, it always feel good coming on a victory month. Well, Victory Tuesday. That's what we're going to say. Victory Tuesday. No, no, no. Yeah, it's definitely a great time of the year. We love football season. For sure. And we're happy to be here to really use this platform to express our feelings on, on football and how we feel and our knowledge and shit like that. I appreciate y'all for watching. So, like, like we uh, another thing, like, comment, subscribe to the to the channel. It's up podcast. Look it up. It's on everywhere. It's on Apple, Spotify, Google, anywhere you, you watch podcasts. Go look up the It's Up podcast. Y'all can watch it. I ain't got to just listen to it. You know what I mean? For sure, for sure. I mean, you ain't got to just watch it. Excuse me. Go listen to it. Excuse me. For sure, for sure. We're going to have the links below and everything. Make sure y'all get that and let's get right. But we got a lot of exciting topics, a lot of stuff to hit, man. It was a crazy, crazy week one. Um, we got a lot of a lot of field goals. A lot I think of upsets. It, it was the week of I think it was the week of the upsets and it was the week of the kickers. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. For sure. That think- show that shows you, bro. It's a, it's, it's a three-dimension game. Offense, defense, and special teams. Complimentary ball. And and that's what it takes. And that's how y'all won. Of course. Complimentary ball. And what did I Literally. Say? And what I always said. I always said, we got the best defense in the NFL. We proved that based off week one. Mm, okay. And we're going to continue to prove that with or without TJ Watt. You know what I'm saying? But from your experience, you know. What you want to you hit on my team? I mean, I, Is that what you're trying to get at? I'm just saying, like, I'm, on, what a, trying to get at? I'm on Victory Tuesday. What you call lose, I mean, Loser Tuesday? Like, what even, you call I'm not that? even calling Loser Tuesday. I'm going to call it Disappointment Tuesday. Disappointment like, Tuesday. And Let Down Tuesday. Ooh. But it ain't nothing new. I'm, I'm going to say. Well, listen, bro. I, I'm a Falcons fan, but I'm also a, a true one and, a, and an honest one. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Bro, we fold it. Like, we always do. We always do. Falcons always get big leads. Big, huge leads. Whooping their ass. Like, literally... Bending somebody over the bed, spanking their ass, we whooping their ass, and literally control the game, O line doing anything, defense locking down, and then the fourth quarter comes and they just act like it just like we gotta fix something. As if we don't got this lead and, and continue doing the things that got us this lead. We go completely different, change up everything we just had. Every time. Complete 180. Conservative. Playing prevent defense and all that, like giving everything up short. In the third quarter. In the third end of the third, giving up 30 yard uh out routes and shit like that. And I mean, it ended up being a, like a 15 yard out route and they taking the 30 yards because we didn't prevent. We back. Dang. We back. We back. Can't tell you. It, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a Dan Quinn thing. It's not an Arthur Smith thing. It's not a Mike Smith thing. It's not a Dean Pease thing. It's not a, uh, it's not, bro, it ain't got nothing to do who the coach is. It's the not, it is the Falcons way. And I love the Falcons to death till I die. Just, but that's just how we roll. That's damn. how the Falcons do. It sounds like you throwing in your towel. Oh, no. Hell, never. It's see? That's I'm crazy. Saying, that's the crazy thing. I guess the, I, I don't know, though, because, see, I'm part of a franchise where optimism comes every single year. You know what I mean? Optimism comes every single well, year. I'm like, now, listen. That's, that's cool. Yes, that's fine. Y'all don't got that. My, no, not in, not in the NFL. My city got it, but... You got one. You got one team that's relevant in your in your state, man. Come on, let's, let's, let's not do that. We got two. Let's not do that. So we got two. The penguins over with, man. That little they run y'all had is over. Come on now, I keep up with hockey now. The P- Pittsburgh Penguins is over with. Y'all got right. one exciting team in y'all city. Y'all stadium. I saw four championships. I saw four championships. I saw four Stanley Cups, and I saw two Super Bowl wins. Man, man. Hey, I, I'm just saying. No, no disrespect to my hockey fans that's watching this. But this man talking about hockey. Like, come on, look at where we at. Like, come on, hockey. Bro, my, my, like, I love hockey. Don't get me wrong. It's a brutal sport. Like, I respect it. I really bro, do. But come on now. We talk my about- football team, my one team, bigger than all three of your teams combined. Don't play with us. Don't play with us. Nah, that's Don't nasty. play with us. Combine, though. Combine, G. No, no, no. Y'all Hawks. don't got no Hawks fans, for real. You don't got no Falcons fans. Stop lying. We got no Hawks bro, fans? We got, I'm talking. We got no Hawks fans? Bro, worldwide, come on, G. Come I'm on, talking. Gang. We worldwide. We in, we in China, nigga. Bro, look at the stadium. Nigga, this is a terrible tile on the Great see, Wall of China. Yeah, talk about, talk about. We, we. we <laughs> I know it ain't first. Yes, there is. Bro, we Pull went. up that commercial, please. Pull up that commercial, please. Cam, we went to the uh, New York Knicks Atlanta Hawks playoff game. 
Come on, bro. You can't sit here and say that. In can't. Atlanta. It's packed. That's what I'm talking it's about. It's supposed to be. Yes. So what you mean? Okay. So I'm saying, is it going to be packed with uh, Hawks fans in New York? No. But I promise you this. I promise you this. I'll be Okay. There. The Steelers play the Falcons this year, right? Mm -hmm. I can. I will guarantee. I will. I'll bet a thousand dollars, bro. Thou cash. There's gonna be more Steelers fans, black and yellow, than there is gonna be Falcons fans. And guess what? There is. I'm, <laughs> I don't care. Like, uh, what do you mean? I don't care. My Braves came back from. We, we hey. defending world champs right now. You can't tell me that's nothing. Okay. Like, that's cool. But we'll, we're gonna take a video from when we at that game because we we will be at that game. You want to? And then, hey, and also about that game, we also gonna have some tailgate for that game. We also gonna have another tailgate coming. Um, we'll so hopefully, we got more information coming on that. Please come out. Don't want to speak too much on it though. You know, man. Yeah, yeah, we, but we want to let y'all know. Be prepared. Be prepared. Some shit on the way for y'all. For sure. For sure. But now let's get on it. Uh, what was your um your surprise of the week? You know what I mean? What surprised you? I mean, all the upsets. I mean, I think that. The tie between the Colts and the Texans. Insane. Crazy. I would have put the house on that game. Bro, the Giants. The crib. We're not even talking that much about the Giants. We not, not too many people are high on the Titans. That's what I'm saying. But this season, I mean, the I, don't see I mean, question marks with Saquon, uh, Starling Shepard really has injury plagued for the past I, two years. I'm talking about that. I think the Titans threw. I think they threw. I think they threw. Malik Willis time. I think they don't reach their little ceiling. AJ Brown gone. Ryan Tannehill never was that sharp. You know what I mean? He was, True. I mean, a little solid quarterback, above solid. You know what I mean? He never was that sharp. You know what I mean? A poor man's Matt Ryan, in my opinion. You know what I mean? But no, nah, that's what I'm saying. I think the Titans are through. We not nobody's really talking about that. Yeah. No receivers, defense. Eh. But did did people expect the Giants to win? No, based off the Titans in recent years. years yeah. But now I would actually based pick, off of that game. Ba based off this season, what I'm and what I'm seeing, and what even on paper, okay. I might have picked the Giants. And when I really look at it, yeah, because the Titans don't got nobody. You know what I mean? Really? You, you keep it really? a thousand. Derek Henry. And their quarterback is Ryan Tannehill. Like, come on, let's be real. So do you do you think you can see Malik Willis anytime this year? Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and say that all that because I mean they might. Ryan Tannehill might be on his last leg. They're going to finish the season out. But I think next year, for sure, Malik's in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could. Yeah, yeah I could for say sure. that. For sure. For sure. Well, um, what, what, what was the surprise for you? I'll ask you that. Like, like, surprise, really. I'm, we're going to talk about this later. But the biggest surprise is a surprise. I'm going more in-depth about it. But the, um, the Denver-Seattle result. Look. Insane. Listen. For y'all who don't know, Kevin, man, man, the, the guy, the one and only. Brandon. Uh, I was talking some smack to him, and I was letting him know that his Seahawks wasn't going to do a damn. Matter of fact, I believe I predicted, and if y'all listen to me, I apologize. I don't owe y'all a dime, though. <laughs> Not going to get y'all money back, um, and I hope you didn't bet with no money that you really needed, because um, I fucked you up. Brandon's a... Seattle Seahawks fan, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. From from Seattle, so Washington. Uh, yeah. Uh, he told me about that twelfth man. It's real. It's real. He said it. He said twelfth man different. It's Brandon real. said that. So so, based off of all the shit I was talking, I, Brandon, I apologize. <laughs> I do. I'm a believer. I hope Geno Smith a believer, wins. Believer though. In home games, I hope Geno Smith wins every home game. The way we already know how it's gonna go. The team sucks. I stand okay, by that. Okay, let's get I stand by that. I, I think we can agree on that. But <laughs> and Brandon though. <laughs> but but yeah, no, you're right. I that I was surprised. I was surprised, surprised. And I was disappointed from Russell Wilson. I was disappointed. No, nah, yeah, we're gonna we gonna go on that clock management. By him and his head coach. Yeah, we get into that later, man. That was disappointing. I ain't gonna lie. Nathan was looking real like, I don't know, just like big chested and just like, I know what I'm doing. Like, it's your first year head coach, man. Come on, don't do better. I don't know how he got the job, but whatever. Because guess what? He's played, he was the coordinator for Green Bay. You know what I mean? Successful I, <laughs> season after season, 13 win season, season after season, 12 win Bro, season. Oh, you have you know? Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams. Yeah, it ain't too hard. You ain't so really got to coordinate too much. Too much. <laughs> That's why I agree. But I'm, I'm just letting you know how he got the job because of, you know, the result. Even though, like, you don't got to coordinate too much. Devontae ain't. 
Damn. Well, look. Throw that shit up. I ain't fucking with that. Let's go ahead and get with what was a surprise, man. Fuck that. Fuck that. What ex- what exceeded expectations? What exceeded your expectations? Oh. Uh, what exceeded my expectations? Out, out the entire week? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What exceeded your expectations, man? A lot of things. I, a lot of things. Oh, a, a lot, lot of things. A lot of things. Right. I'm going to name a couple. By 2.30, what exceeded your expectations? By 2.30 on Sunday, what exceeded your expectations? I'm going to keep it thousand. I know what you're trying to get at. My Falcons exceeded my expectations. They did. They, they were, the, Fal- the Falcons were playing real great. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Defense was looking stout. Right, like, like, like I see like I, that. Listen. Like, look. Like, <laughs> like I said, though. I said my Falcons were going to have a bad defense. I said we're gonna be mid mid pack, 15, 16. I said that from the jump though, G. So hey, what'd you say? You said what mid pack what? Mid pack. Mid pack. Mid, hey, we mid. Falcons <laughs> mid, mid. Mid. Falcons <laughs> mid to the motherfucker. Reggie. <laughs> hey, Reggie Bush. <laughs> hey, Reggie Bush. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. no, nah, fuck that. Reggie Miller for three. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Reggie Miller. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> hey, but nah, uh, we definitely look defense was stout. And I don't know, hey, before the episode, Brandon said something about Mariota being the worst QB he ever seen. I'm like, come on, man. I think that was a little extreme. That was a stretch. That was a stretch. That was a stretch. I mean, I think based off of week one, bottom five. No, I don't think that either. I don't think that either. I think so. How y'all gonna say that? Man had no no picks. Was called run the ball, making smart decisions. Like he bottom ten. My problem with him is that he fumbled on the five, and that play could have cost. I mean, it, we just like cost you. That play cost exactly. But you can't. You can't say he bottom slides, five because of if that. If he slides, though, a smart quarterback not fucking diving. That's an Eli Manning bullshit. That was Eli Manning. Ben would have did that dumbass shit. Ben Roethlisberger. No, ben would have took the hit. Ben wouldn't have fumbled. That's the thing. Ben wouldn't have fumbled. Come on, Bronson. Me mean, you both rock, bro. Me, his last couple of days. Hey, his last wrong. couple of years. Don't talk about the twilight years. <laughs> Don't talk about the twilight years. You like to talk about Twilight years. Whatever. You've been hating on Julio Jones the last couple seasons. Bro, I'll, listen. What has he done? Last couple seasons. What has he done? It don't matter. He what has he done? Come, look at his stats. I did. What do you mean? One of the greatest receivers of all time. I know. Good. What That's great. Mean, what has he done? Getting the end zone more. What has he done? That Getting the end zone more. That Who? Jet. Getting the end zone more. That guy. Stick the landing, motherfucker. <laughs> you a Jet. Stick the landing. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Y'all, you in this fucking touchdown shit. Why don't you go on yards? What he actually doing? Bro, be- he got... Look, 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 what wins look, games? Let's right? say this. What wins games? He has the highest average... What wins he, games? Let's, let me say something, man. He has the highest average of receiving yards per game in NFL history. Hey, check that stat again, because I promise you, based off these last two years, he that does. shit done took a hit. No. He, it done took a hit. He legit still hey, has it. He done took a hit, to my nigga. He legit still does. All right. We, hey. All right. We're going to see. Production we team, Tevin. Look, put this we're going to have the stats right here. We're going to find out if you write it wrong. All time. The highest. We're going to find the out. highest receiving yard average As of 2022. Game. As of 2022, okay. Julio, you I don't know Jones. We will go check the stat. We will. But and and I know he did. I know back. He in did. He still does. You know, back in 2019, it, he had that. Was watching the Bucks game. Man. Oh, okay. You would have known if you wasn't asleep. Okay. Came with about a thousand wings in this motherfucker, like. He would have known if he was now. Who don't eat a thousand wings on week one? And if you're not eat, eating wings on week one. Yeah, you're not eating wings. You're not no football fan. No, no, you, you just need to grow up. For real. You need, to, you need to grow up. If you eating boneless, if you eating boneless wings. No, nah, that's one thing we're going to say. Boneless wings, out of here. Stop. B-I-T-C-H. <laughs> and, and, and drums over flats, always. Huh? Drums over flats, always. Stop. More flats over drums. No, that's flats over. It's drums. too much. You gotta go in between bones flats got and that shit. More meat. You gotta go in between bones and shit like that. Shit, that shit just be good. That shit sweet. The skin. No. Yeah, I'm Hell going not. with that. I'm going with the flats. You get that big chunk on that flats. drum. That drum be looking. Sometimes you have an abnormal looking ass drum. So what? A flat? A flat be fat as hell. Be the biggest flat bitch. Be looking like a cockroach. We ain't no jumbo. We- why you say that? Now I don't want a flat. Nah. Now you a drum guy. Thank you. No, nah, I ain't fuck with them drums. You don't eat drums at all? I like them flat. You don't eat drums like at all? Like, if I eat that Taco Mac, flats only. Ah, uh, you tripping. 
I need be, like if I know where like they can be abnormal because they be having some. It be a lot of fat on them on them big, on them flats on them drums. A lot of fat on them flats. All right, it do. All right. So what did you expect and it, and it actually happened? Like what you expect and, and it the still stuck, is, it stuck to the script. You ain't gotta say no more. The still is to win. I expected that and it happened. Y'all had a real wild game. I'm not gonna lie. We did. We had the best game on TV. No, for sure. We had the best game on TV Sunday, Thursday. We had the best game. And if you missed it, go watch them highlights. No, no, no. no we don't got to say that. Tap going to put it up here. Production. He going to put up the, the block field goal, the, all that. He going to put up Shout all out that. to Mika. Look, that's another thing. Defense player of the week, man. No, for Mika sure. Fitzpatrick, bro. For sure. He had 14 crazy... tackles, 13 solo, mm-hmm. pick six to start off the game. Game, uh, game, game saving, saving block, block field goal. Field goal. PAT. Not yeah. even field goal. It's PAT. Point. <laughs> Don't play with that man, bro. I'm telling you, nah, he was not losing. Nah, that he game. wasn't going. We was not losing nah, that game. I ain't gonna lie. I feel good to have a like a warrior on your team like that. Oh yeah, it does. It does. It's it, okay, but every, every mean, dog has his day. I seen Mika get done up many times. Anyways, <laughs> not like that. But and every dog does, but not like that. I don't see him be put on his back. But that's bro. why. That's why the length of time and today we found out. You know, T.J. Watt. You know, because you know he is a Watt. He's a Watt. They injury prone. You know how they get no. down. It's all right. They is though, man. They all. They, he they, hasn't been. He hasn't been. As of late, TJ has been, been man. He only missed two games last year, and he still finished with. Tw- what you gonna complain about that? Had he played the two games, this motherfucking sack record be shattered. That's facts. Shattered. I give it to him, man. Hey, and I'm and I'm mad to this day, my Falcons for passing up on TJ Watt for Tack McKinley. McKinley. I thank God. For that, bro, because yeah, you got you got that bro, drive. You might you might, you might, you might that well drive off that. We were linked to tack like sources, and they could have been untrue, but we were linked to tack, bro, a lot. And I did not want him. You want tack? No, the film never showed. It reminded me too much of Jarvis Lin- uh Jarvis Jones. He just had a lot he of free shit. But he yeah, he had exactly a lot of free. He did, but he he was, Give me. he was a good edge rusher. He had a lot of speed. His technique was, uh, that's what that was always was wrong with him. Technique was, uh, you know what I mean? But he always, he he was never a bull rush guy ever, not even college. So they try to get him to do that. Okay, hold on, breaking news, breaking news. What's the breaking news? All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So it has been confirmed. T.J. Watt will only be missing and is expected to miss six to eight weeks. He did not have a torn uh, pec. Mm-hmm. Um, he did tear a muscle in the pectoral, whatever the fuck that is. Um, I know that's your chest, but, you know, comment below if you know what I'm talking about. Um, but he just tore a muscle. Doesn't require surgery. Mm-hmm. As a what? He'll be back. So what you think he going to miss? Uh, I think I think he'll he'll be back week ten. I don't want him back no sooner. Really, I want him to try to get as healthy as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, but like I said, and what I was gonna touch on is uh, that's the thing about having a we have a when that's a great defense. So when we're missing the defense player of the year, we have the quality of and, players and, to be be the next defense player of the year. No, 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 Mika Fitzpatrick. Cam Hayward. Not even though, like I, the, I, I don't, the next I, I don't agree. Player. Okay, okay, okay. As far as that, you see what I'm saying? I was saying like, like a DN can come in to be. No, 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 no I don't agree. I don't agree with production. that. I don't agree with that. But as a but team, I agree, y'all got complimentary defense where y'all not gonna really see a crazy like crazy no, draft. Like, like, like we'll draft, still lead draft. the league in sacks this year. I, We've led the league in sacks for the past five, maybe six since 2017. Okay, we have led the league in sacks. Mm-hmm. So. We're, we will lead the league in sacks again. If not, we'll be second. We'll have 50. And that's with T.J. Watt missing a lengthy amount of time. Mm-hmm. And that's because that's what we prioritize. Brian Flores, that addition, I mean, that's probably one of our best, if not the best, free agent <laughs> additions we yeah, had this offseason. Edition. And we went and spent money this year. Uh-huh. But he was the best free agent acquisition in the show. Exactly, because Mitch you know? ain't a goddamn thing. So, I mean. Look. And Mitch, we trust until we don't. But, you know, I ain't going to disagree. Thank you. I was, I was, I say I was, I was, I was disappointed by the performance. 
Exactly. He didn't throw a pick. I was happy with I don't that. Know how he and did. he came, he did come up big when we needed him to. That last fourth, uh, fourth quarter drive, and then in, in OT, and he you know he came up big. But <sighs> that was a frustrating offensive game to watch. It was a frustrating offensive game. It was. One th- but one thing we're gonna do when like days, me and Cam just we do we recapping what happened in the NFL and shit like that. We just we're gonna keep it on the it's up topic. The it's up moment of the week. Yeah. I'm gonna have an it's up moment of the week. Cam gonna have an it's up moment of the week. Just just, just basically saying a moment we thought it was like it was up as we asked our guests, as y'all know, as y'all know. But um I can start off you can start off. No, what was yeah. your what, my it's up moment of the week? Yeah, for sure. My it's up moment of the week, because I'm a Falcons fan, of course. My it's up moment of the week probably was the, the like the bell cows we had on offense and defense. Grady Jarrett had a wonderful game. Yeah, he did. He played crazy. He did. In the backfield all day, two sacks, three tackles for loss. You he know deserved I mean? his flowers, too. He did. Thank you. I appreciate that. And, and of course, fumble. Yeah. Grady Jarrett did. How many it. sacks? Two. Okay. Two and a half. He was he was in on third. Okay. okay. But two and a half. But watch watch that. He was in the backfield all day. Okay. Brady did his thing. Held held it down for the D line. Made the whole D line look like they was doing something. Okay. But it was really great. He won his one on ones, and it was literally winning his one on ones. Even as a D tackle, you know they're not the best pass rushers. But go back and watch he it. Is. Please. He's always been a great pass rusher. Though. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, thank you. Great. Exactly. And that's not that's and three r- sacks against Tom Brady. In that. The that's rare against. I mean, that's rare for a D tackle, a three great. technique. You're not great. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know what I mean? That, that's rare for a three technique. You know what I mean? But Grady was winning his one on one matchups. Tevin, please put a little a little film of him winning his one on one matchup on. on. <laughs> Lippo, looking <laughs> nimble. Yeah, looking nimble. That. He literally did that move. Y'all see. Look, y'all see. But uh, that was my it's up moment of the week. Also, I want to give my flowers to Cordero Patterson. I ain't going to say too much about his stats or nothing like that. 120 yard, blah, 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 touchdowns and all that. But he just held it down for the offense. But that's my little it's up moment of the week. Okay. For sure. CP and Grady Jarrett. Okay. They deserve their flowers. All right. As a Falcons fan, as you should. I mean, I, I'm i sorry. I don't want to be biased to say Falcons and stuff. I mean, I promise you I'm going to be coming with other teams and all that. But that was just my it's up moment of the week. And that was a good one. Um, I think, I think that. My it's up moment has to be just football in general. I'm gonna just start with. I love that. I'm gonna just start with that Thursday night football game, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Bills, man. The Bills, bro. The Bills really show. They, they show they, not only the AFC but to the whole NFL. Oh yeah. They said, "Motherfucker, it's up." They they told yeah they that's it's up because <laughs> hey, hey, they not listen, they're not playing not at all. We not here Buff- playing with y'all. I, we play Buffalo in a couple weeks, and, we, and 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 that's the one game where like. Out of the next six weeks, and we play Tampa Bay, I'm more of course, worried I mean, of, of Buffalo than, Tampa. than I am Tampa Bay. I mean, I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Buffalo look real uh, defensively, offensively. Tampa's beatable. You know what I mean? You know, like Tampa's Tampa real. Tampa is beatable. They're real. I mean, I'm not saying Buffalo's not. But Buffalo's came oh, so, bro, we beat them week one last year. Exactly. Yeah. And did. to see them week one of this year. They're a different team. They're better. They ain't got better. And I think that's that. They tired of coming up inches Listen. close. Like, I mean, you got to think about it. A lot of the teams tired of that shit. I mean, of course, Vaughn got his little ring last year, but, but I mean, like, on some, like, some ring chasing shit. Yeah. I mean, I mean. And where was, did he go, though? Exactly. L.A. Where would the ring chasers go? <laughs> Cali. Yeah. KD. And, but he left L.A. for what? Freddie Fuck. Freeman. I'm just kidding. Let me stop. Le- <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Free, you ran to L.A. Still bitter. Y'all still bitter Oh, about we that. still hurt. I love Freddie Free. Dad died, though. Yeah. But anyways, but that's where the ring chasers go. Okay. But no, um, like I said, the Stephon has never played in the Super Bowl. He's been close. You know what I mean? Want to get back? He itching for. Uh, that's what I'm saying. Nah, and, and then they got they got a little tandem with Gabe Davis and shit. Like they they yeah, gonna, he look he they look, looking good. They looking good. Looking good. I I think James Cook is gonna come on not late in the season, yeah. probably like around like week six seven. They give him some opportunity. No, they is because Singletary. I don't think he's gonna cut it for that long. They're not because that's what I was gonna say. Is like yeah. their offensive threat. And their run game isn't too existing. 
Yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna say it's non. It's not existent, but it isn't like a, it is a factor where you gotta yeah. like know. Like they not a. They, they run not game rushing a hundred yards a game. What they rush game is Josh Allen on the scramble. It is on the scramble. That's the biggest threat. That's, the, that's, that's their that's biggest their running game. threat. And yes, that, and that's a fact. Yes, that's a fact. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Josh Allen's not playing with y'all defenders, bro. He's not sliding. No. He gonna run through you, run over you, stiff arm you. Put the highlight up, man. We showing all the highlights. How he did that, boy? I don't know who is a Some corner, not, bro. Something like that. He's not sliding on y'all boys. So if you come up and tackle him, treat him like a running back. Mm, I, I, look, that's the one matchup I am afraid. I ain't afraid of no divisional matchup, no nothing. That's the one matchup I'm like, Oof. The Bills that got you a little sideways. Oof. Yeah, I don't know how to guard him. I mean, no, I mean. It's hard to contain. I mean, exactly. we did it last year, we're going to do it again. Believe that. Anyways. <laughs> a little bit uh, on the future. I mean. Week two? Week two. Let's get week on week two. two. We'll, we'll be doing this weekly. I mean, we're going to read. As, as long as the NFL season going on, we're going to get week. We doing like bet, like we doing like bets or just like we just doing prediction. Let's, I mean, let's do prediction, but I mean, I, I really want to hit on upsets of the week. You okay. know what I mean? For sure. I mean, I got an upset. What you got? Yeah. I mean, uh, talk to me. I mean, it's not a crazy upset, but just based off it's just like, you know, like when you think of this, you're thinking, oh, this team's going to win. Like, but I, I think I got the Jets over the Browns. You know what I mean? Ooh, why I got, I, hey, why'd I know? <laughs> Hey, Joe Flacco Jets? Joe Flacco Jets over... Flacco! Hey, over the Browns. Jets over the Browns. Flacco! Young Flacco Jordan. Hey, okay. I can see it. I don't see it, but I can see it. Um, no, you don't see it. That's what I'm saying. That's I, why it's called I don't upset. see it, but I, I can see it. I can see I, it. I ain't gonna lie. I like the Jets. I really do. I ain't saying like, oh, I like them as a, a team to come out of. Nah, none of that. Like, they're a tender or nothing like that. But I, li- I like where they headed. I got two. Let's hear yours. Okay, I got two. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the Saints over the Bucks. I think the Saints beat the Bucks. Um, I think that's I don't, but okay, I, I know. I that, don't. That, upset. Exactly. I upset. I, I do though. Um, I just the Saints since Tampa since Tom's been in Tampa Bay, Saints have always played him tough. All, the Saints got their number. And they do. The Saints is the team that they, they literally cannot they beat. Do. And I think that they, they'll show that again. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and with them being home. Mm-hmm. Um, Saints are home? Yeah, they're home. So, yeah. Um, but then my second upset, of course, um, right now Vegas has uh, New England minus one and a half right now. Mm-hmm. So Favorites. They're favorites. I don't know how they're the favorite, though. But I, I don't know either. But best believe the Steelers will be winning that game. Um, that's my bet of the week. That's my lock. Lock it in. Hey. Uh, you could take the points or the spread. I would take – I said that's either one. That's both, really. You could take the points, or you could take uh, the straight up money line. I would go with the money line. Uh, Steelers to win. You take you taking Steelers. Oh, yeah. put put the house on it. Oh, put the house on. Put Steelers it. win twenty seven to fourteen. Twenty seven to four. More like 24, 17. 20, 27. 27, Okay. Uh huh. To fourteen. Matter, matter of fact. 27 to 10. We don't even give up two touchdowns. I'm telling you, defense is going to be the best defense in the NFL. We don't give up two touchdowns. So, so y'all the Georgia of the NFL. Say, uh, call it what you want. Not, but just put Georgia's it. a championship team. They are. So I'm not going. I'm not going to put. I'm not going to go that far. You hard for that? I'm not going to go. I'm Probably not going. Best thing, bro. I said all episode. I, we're <laughs> back on Georgia like that. I'm not even a real Georgia fan. I'm even, you know how I feel about them Bulldogs. <laughs> But I'll I'll put respect with it. Where I give respect uh-huh. when it's you know yeah. saying deserve. They ain't giving no up no tutties. They not. They not. Let's give it a shout out to Georgia, man. Shout out to Kirby Smart and them boys. For sure. Shout out to Kirby. We're gonna touch on y'all. It was a crazy NCAA uh week two, man. We didn't get to touch on that. Uh it was a lot of big games. Pitt lost me big bread. Uh <laughs> y'all got me fucked up for We lost to Tennessee? Bro. And they should have won, and they lost home. Shout out Solon Page, the third in them boys, man. Stop playing. Look, Solon, you know I love you to death. But he you, gonna be on here in a couple weeks, man. You know I love you to death, but you don't even have to do that to me, dog. Bye week. You ain't even have to do that to me, dog. Man, I thought I was finna win, bro. The over to OT. Why you better get your boy? I ain't, look. I love I love you to death. I take my city over every damn one of y'all. Damn. I ain't keeping a racket. Ride for mine for one, two. But it's, it's, I want to hit on this, man. It's been on my mind before we close this thing out, man. 
Why the why the hell would you pay Russ all that X amount of dollars and you're not going to close out the game and put the ball in his hands and let him go get that first down? That's a 200. Let him try to go get that first down. That's a $236 million question, bro. $230 million. Man, like literally. Question that's, a, that's a $236 million question. And if you want me to be honest with you, what that show, I think Russ been in, in the league for like 10, 11 years or something like that. What that showed to me, Russ don't got no type of dog in him, bro. Russ ain't got no type no of dog. way. Russ ain't got no type of dog in him. We see how his head coach feels about him. And the head coach he got now is worse than the situation he had with Pete Carroll. I promise you. Yeah. Pete, Pete wasn't like that. No. Pete would have let him go get that. Man. Let him go get Pete, that. Pete, 10 out of 10 Pete times. Pete with DK and Tyler Metcalf. You got Jerry Judy, Cortland Sutton. You've been running the ball. Bro, you could have ran. Ran the you five. You could have ran the five, bro. He could have ran a halfback draw. Instead, this man going to try to kick the second long. He ran 30 seconds off the play. They're going to use all his timeouts when they kneeling. Bro, that was the absolute... It was Worse. look pure blasphemy. It was pure lie. blasphemy. Bro could have lost his it was job. Pure blasphemy. It was his first game as an NFL head coach, and he could have lost it after that. Yeah, he's he fumbled that he's, shit, man. I ain't gonna lie. He's he's on the hot seat. Already he's on the hot seat. Cause like, man, what? He, instead, off, he tried to kick the the second longest field goal in NFL history. Man, look, yards. all I know is from fantasy sake, keep feet in Javante. All right, keep feet. Keith Eaton, Jerry Judy, Russell Wilson. I got you in one of my leagues too. I need you Before, to step the, <laughs> step the freak up, step the freak up, step the freak up. <laughs> no, nah, real shit. They got they got a jail immediately. They ain't got time to be uh. Nah. They in a division where every game matters. Sure. They got to see them Chargers twice a year. They got to see them Chiefs twice a year. Like the AFC West ain't no joke. You know sure. what I mean? They 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 no, got not bro. They got to hurry up and get it together. They're not. Cause that's for them to lose like that against some Seahawks. They got a long way to go. Real quick, and just to touch on why you said that the AFC West, uh, Chargers, Raiders, Raiders looked very questionable. Looks like they're gonna take some time to kind of get everything yeah, together. They, 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 they is. They is. Um, Devontae still looked like Devontae, but Derek Carr, man, I don't know, man. man, he wasn't looking too great. I don't know if it was him. I don't know if it was the Chargers defense. Chargers did look good. Justin Herbert looked like Justin Herbert, and they didn't even have the running game going like that. Um, I, I mean, that was that was a questionable. That was a very disappointing. Shout out to Asante Samuel Jr., man. Yeah, you it's, looking like your daddy. Out looking there, your man. like looking like your motherfucking looking, daddy. Looking like your daddy, just like your daddy. Looking just like him, just like him. Yeah, right, boy, looking just play maker, boy. play like just play like him, maker, look just boy. like him. Hey, hey, man. Playmaker. Man. Hey, Asante Samuel Senior. We're going to need you on here, man. We're going to need you to come on here and talk about your son. Former Falcon. And we're going to need... He's going to win Defense Player of the Week. I think we all know that. Mm -hmm. We're going to need you to analyze that performance. We're going to need you to analyze your own son's performance. For sure. For Literally, sure. Yes. Let's get you on a Zoom call. We'll reach out to you soon. And, and hey, that's what y'all going to have to be looking for. Because those we got some shit on the way. We're going to be making. So make sure way. you like, you subscribe, you hit the links, you listen Comment. to Anything. If you can't watch it on YouTube, you at work in your cubicle or on your way, go ahead and throw us on on Spotify. Throw us on on the Android Play Store. Apple throw Music us on the Podcast. Because we there. And there's no reason why you shouldn't start off your morning right now. Come, Come on, on. Start your morning with the It's Up Podcast. It's up man. now. Y'all keep showing us love. We're going to keep getting stronger and stronger and better and better, man. Appreciate y'all, man. It's, it's Up Podcast. Love y'all, boys. Thank you. And girls. Sorry. I got high standards, Libby says she from Atlanta. Libby was talking crazy, I won't hesitate to blow him. BJ got me, need no friend, he keeps saying that John. But say that he fought with me, we prove it, we ain't friends. Yeah. No new friends, I'm like, Drake, this shit gon' spam. Making hits on top of hits, I got bitches on top of bitches.